Hello, it's time for a new month and a new plan with me. So I've got my future log here. I'm going to set this aside and show you everything I'm doing to set up for March. I've basically picked a green theme for St. Patrick's Day and I'm going to try to use these stamps. Uh, I have to use the smaller ones and actually it's so small that I can't put all of them at the same time. Sorry about my head. Uh, I have to sort of stagger them and do a few at a time. So this is sped up 10 times so that you can see it all in a reasonable amount of time. I spent so much time and effort working on this. The stamp block I have out, I think I have a bigger one, but the stamp block I had out doesn't even fit all the way across. And so it's just sort of a bit haphazard. But I uh, decided to try around try to play around with these stamps. I got a tip in the comments of last month's plan with me to use a nail file to sort of rough up the surface of the stamps before I apply them. And that uh, I think worked pretty well. I'm also just kind of not fussed about it looking perfect. It's definitely a, um, a stamped aesthetic this time. But I don't, I honestly don't think that I would do this again. <laughs> it just, the effort is not worth it. And also they're so big that I don't have room for anything else in the squares now. Um, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'll try washi tape if we're out of town. I think we're taking a trip later this month, but there's really no room for like dots or color coding or anything. So anyway, that's all done. And here's the header. Yeah, yeah, gotta make sure it's exactly perfect. <laughs> Except it never will be. So it's March, short, short little month name. So I'm going to fill out the top uh, little box there with a little bit of washi tape. This theme of sort of ripped on one side and trimmed on the other is kind of what I'm going for this whole month. I don't know if that actually comes across as an aesthetic or if it's just something that is fun for me. So this uh, is the same pack of washi tape I used as my main inspiration for January's plan with me. This was a Christmas gift and it doesn't matter what it says. It's just green. So <laughs> pull out my mild liners as always to do the headers here. And I figured instead of doing my to-do list from the very top, I would just put a little bit of washi tape just to kind of make it a, a staggered thing. Um, my monthly to-do list, this section here is like the part that I look at the least because the to-do list on the right side uh, here has dates for everything. And so I look at it every week as I'm putting my week together. This one on this side is just things that need to get done anytime this month. And I don't put a lot of stuff there because I'd rather put something either it needs to get done at a certain time or it doesn't. And this is sort of a weird limbo in between. So maybe I'll find something else to do with that section next month, but for now. Anyway, events on the left and then the milestones or the baby uh, milestones that she hits. It's just fun to keep track. And then the goal is my uh, goal for the month, just sort of a resolution thing. So I have not been using my tracker as much lately. I do tend to fall off the wagon with those after a little while, so I'm switching it up. I'm doing a, a tracker of the baby's sleep quality, just one, two, three, and then her mood that day, uh, also on one, two, three, to see if there's a correlation and just kind of to keep track of something. Uh, a few things here I definitely do want to keep tracking because they're habits that I have sort of fallen off. I don't want to keep tracking things that I almost always do uh, because then if I forget to fill it out, I'm just guessing. It's like, yeah, I usually take my vitamin, but I almost never give the baby hers. So I want to use up the bottle of vitamins. Um, and then I probably won't purchase again because she's on solids now. So I just highlighted the weekends just to make it a little bit easier to see. And then go in for a little bit more washi tape. You can see on this side, I have the torn edge on the left and then the other, I don't know what this is weird packaging. The other side, I've got the uh, smooth side on there and torn side on the other, if that makes sense. Look, look at your screen. That's what I'm doing. And I think that's it. Looking good. You know, pretty simple. Same as 
everything else. Just have to fill out all of the things from my future log now. So a couple holidays and birthdays and things. Going to uh, celebrate my dad is turning 60 this month or at the end of March. There's his actual birthday, but we're going to visit him the week before, I think. The plans are still in the air. That's also my sister's birthday, my brother-in-law's birthday. It's a lot. Um, a lot in March. And then we've just got the usual things. I'm pulling these to-do uh, items off my recurring tasks. Uh, because I don't think there were any to-do items on the future log. It's just the things that I have to do every month. And since... Like, I don't want to keep checking that spread. It's better to have it on my monthly so that I'll actually see it and do it. Simple things, but, you know, can't forget to pay your bills. These, uh, yeah, need to get done eventually. Who knows if they will. And now I have to pick a goal for the month. I'm looking here over my someday maybe list, but then I actually end up deciding to pick something else that is on a project list later. I'm going to be posting a flip through next week, so you'll see what I mean then. Now I have to pull out my context list, a brand new one for the new month. I haven't filled out February's completely yet, but ah, I got stuck tape. Ah. I do a new context list every month anyway, just to keep things fresh. And having a whole bunch of checked off stuff clogging up your list is a little bit annoying. So just having fun with a little bit of this washi tape with the backing is kind of a pain, but it's cute. And then instead of doing the exact same thing on the other side, I'm going to try just sort of a collection of washi stripes. Uh, continuing the same theme of washi that's cut on one side and torn on the other. And see, using the same tear that I got from the last page. I actually really like how this turned out. It's uh, surprisingly... Pretty simple, but it looks really cool. I, I think I have enough different kinds of green and kind of different kinds of green look good together, you know, in the way that like warm and cool greens can look nice together in a way that other colors don't. So I think it looks really good. I think I probably have too much washi though. <laughs> and then I just have to add the headers for all of these different columns. Same thing as last month and the month before. I just have different contexts and uh, every time I put a to-do item there, I mark off which column it goes in and so then I can quickly see, okay, I'm at home today, what can I get done and just go down that column. It works for me. Even if I don't fill it in every month all the way, it's good to have the space. So I'm just going to add that here. I'll fill it out with tasks after February and keeping uh, my February spread in there. So that's everything for another month. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week with a full flip through. It was a requested video and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.